Modern Warfare 3 Season 3 starts tomorrow. We're getting the return of Rebirth Island, brand new DLC weapons, and much more. So today, I'll be showing you guys the top five class setups to bring into Season 3. And also go down below and drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for this new season. So jumping into the first class setup, we have the SVA Assault Rifle. And this gun has very low recoil and a very fast fire rate. So starting off with the optic, we have the Jack Glassless Optic. This is going to be the primary optic scope that I use for a lot of these class setups. And the reason why I love this one is because it reduces the visual recoil when you're firing. I, I think that's honestly one of the biggest issues with this game, how a lot of guns have visual recoil and it can really mess you up when you're in the middle of a gunfight. So I love this because it's a very clear optic sight, but also reduces that visual recoil. Coming in with the barrel, the STV Precision Barrel. This is probably the best barrel out of all of these for the SVA. It's gonna increase that aiming idle sway, but most importantly, increase the bullet velocity and range, the gun kick control, and the recoil control. You lose out some ADS speed and some hip fire, but that's not really too important when you're ADSing a lot with just an assault rifle. Next up for the muzzle, the Zem N35 Compensator. This is genuinely the best muzzle in the game. You're gonna be seeing this on probably all of my class setups for sure, but it's amazing because it shortens the rate radar ping so when you shoot you're not going to be showing up on the radar for as long but then also it increases the vertical and the horizontal recoil and lastly it increases the firing aim stability this is definitely a key for so many weapons in this game next up for the underbrow the bruin heavy support grip this is what a lot of people are rocking right now and kind of the meta underbarrel in multiplayer it increases that gun kick control aiming idle sway horizontal recoil and firing aim stability this is a really amazing amazing underbarrel that's going to increase just that recoil control and make this thing an absolute laser. Next up for the magazine, I threw on the 60 round mag, but you can rock the 45 round mag. Honestly, both of these are perfectly fine, so it's kind of up to you. If you run the 60, you're going to have a slower ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, so it's really up to you. Overall, man, the SVA is such an awesome weapon. Look at that low recoil. So definitely a must-use AR right now in MW3. If you're not using it, you're definitely missing out. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the WSP-9 submachine gun. This is one of my favorite SMGs because it is just so versatile and can do whatever you want. So starting off with the optic, once again, the Jack Glassless optic. I am not a huge fan of the iron sights for this gun at all. They're just really clunky. They're not the best. So this gun definitely, definitely needs an optic sight. Next up for the barrel, we have the WSP Reckless Long Barrel. This is going to increase just that bullet velocity and range. But the reason why I love this SMG SMG is because it's so good for medium and long ranges, but also could do very well in those close quarter combat. As you can see, you get amazing increases to the range right here, so definitely the best barrel. Next up for the underbarrel, the DR6 hand stop. This is a really awesome attachment because it increases that aim walking speed, that ADS speed, sprint to fire speed, and movement speed. It's going to be great for handling and mobility, making the gun just a little bit faster, which I really liked. Next up for the magazine, throw on the 40 round mag, or you can also also rock the 50 round mag once again it's up to you but if you're rocking the 50 round mag you're gonna have a little bit less movement speed and ads speed and sprint to fire speed so honestly it's whatever you want and lastly for the stock the wsp classic factory stock this is just gonna increase that gun kick control and recoil control so it's very good for those medium and long range engagements look at this recoil control though minus nine percent recoil gun kick minus 22 percent and minus 31 percent a massive buff overall man just such a fun sm G, you guys are definitely, definitely going to like it. But also, with those longer ranges, you can actually hit those shots. So definitely try out this gun if you want more of just like a versatile SMG AR hybrid. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the HRM9. And this weapon has been taking MW3 by storm, not only in multiplayer, but also in Warzone. Starting off with the barrel, though, we have the Thorn 90 barrel. This is going to increase that hip fire, which is really good and something that you should use in certain situations. But it also increases increases that ADS speeds, that sprint to fire speed, and sprint speed in general. It's going to really help out with mobility, accuracy, handling, and such a fun SMG to use, but you have to make sure you're staying within a close distance to the enemy. Next up, once again, for the muzzle, the Zem N35 Compensated Flash Hider. I, I don't 
think I need to break this one down anymore. This is definitely the best muzzle to use out of all of these. Like, there's so many in this game, but we always just go back to the Zem N35. Next up for the Underbrow, we actually are rocking the X10 Phantom 5 hand stop. This is going to increase that sprint to fire speed, that ADS speed, but also on top of it, the vertical and gun kick control, which is honestly a huge bonus for sure. We're mainly using this thing for, of course, that handling and also just that recoil control. Next up for the magazine, the 50 round drum. I feel like this gun has a very fast fire rate and you definitely need the 50 round drum. You're not going to run the 20 round mag at all. So definitely use the 50. And finally for the stock, the hatchet light stock. This is going to help out with that ADS speed, that aim walking speed, but also that movement speed. Once again, just increasing the mobility and the handling. The reason why I love this gun so much is because it feels like a true SMG. It's going to have a very fast fire rate, a lot of recoil to manage, but also at the same time, it's so fast. It's so snappy. It has great hip fire spread as well. Overall, if you are just looking for that core SMG type style gameplay, uh, this is going to be your gun. Next up, we're going back to old reliable, and that is the MCW. And going into season three, this is definitely going to be the main AR that you want to stick to. Starting off with the optic, you already guessed the Jack Glassless optic. This is a really, really vital attachment. I do like the iron sights for the MCW, but I feel like when you match the MCW with the glassless optic, it really helps out that visual recoil, and I absolutely love it. Next up for the underbrow, the 16.5 Cyclone Long Barrel. You guys probably already knew this because it is the barrel we've been rocking since day one, which is a shame because the MCW has so many great options, so many different barrels, but we always go back to the Cyclone Barrel because it is seriously the best one you could use. Next up on our list for the muzzle, the T51R Billeted Break. This is going to really help out with that vertical recoil, but also that gun kick control and firing aim stability. Look at this vertical recoil though, minus 32%. You, you can't really beat that. For the magazine, go ahead and throw on the 40 round mag. It is the safest magazine to use, but also the best one. And of course, for the rear grip, we have the RB Claw grip. This is a much better attachment in comparison to the Regal stock. This is going to help out the firing aim stability, the gun kick control, as well as the recoil control. I think going into season three, this is going to be the best AR you can possibly use. We are getting the BAL 27, but we're not going to be getting that until the mid season update so in all honesty i think the mcw is what you're gonna want to use in this new season next up on our list we're gonna be taking a look at the rival 9 submachine gun and this is the smg that all the pro players use but also probably the most reliable smg you can use so starting off with the barrel we have the rival c clear shot barrel in my opinion the best barrel you can run for this weapon you get that aiming idle sway but also most importantly the bullet velocity the damage range increase and the recoil control increase amazing buffs for this smg next up for the muzzle, we have the Purified Muzzle Break. This is going to help out with just that horizontal recoil, but also that firing aim stability. You do lose out on a little bit of bullet velocity and range, but that's okay because this thing is an SMG at the end of the day. You don't really need the craziest range in the world. Next up for the underbrow, we have the XRK Edge Hand Stop. This is a really good underbrow. It increases that aim walking speed, so you can actually strafe back and forth faster, meaning the enemy's not going to expect it. You can actually outgun the enemy with which is really nice. It also increases that movement speed for running around the map, that ADS speed, as well as that sprint to fire speed makes the gun a lot snappier, a lot better for those close range engagements. Next up for the rear grip, we have the Rival Vice Assault Grip. This is going to really help out with that gun kick control, that firing aim stability, as well as that recoil control. Amazing buffs. Finally for the stock, the MTZ Marauder Stock. Once again, going to help out with that recoil control, firing aim stability, and aiming idle sway. Now, also, if you wanted to, you can remove, let's just say, the Rival Vice Grip and then put on the 40 round mag because by default, this gun only has 30 bullets in the clip and you might want something more. In my opinion, man, just one of the best SMGs to use. Very low recoil, a great fire rate. It's just amazing for those close and also those medium range engagements. And finally, guys, I wanted to show you my class setup for my secondary. This is actually the core 45, but also with the aftermarket part. I get a lot of comments, a lot of people asking right away, what secondary are you using? And this is my favorite one. Starting out with the muzzle, I'm running the monolithic suppressor, which is going to make it so you're staying off the radar so no one can see you, but also increase that recoil control because this aftermarket part does give it a little bit of recoil to manage. For the magazine, the 40 round drum, in my opinion, this 
thing has a very fast fire rate if you have a good trigger finger, but I like to just have the 40 round drum on. You probably can get by though with the 30 round magazine as well. So really it's up to you. For the rear grip, we have the granular grip for more firing aim stability, gun kick control, and recoil control. For the stock, we have the XRK dynamic precision stock, once again, increasing that gun kick control and that recoil control. And you get a pretty massive buff with this attachment. Finally, the conversion kit right here, which is gonna make it so you boost that fire rate, that bullet velocity and range. It's gonna turn this pistol into basically an SMG. So if you guys are looking for a very reliable secondary backup weapon, this is definitely gonna do the job. It's only TDM. Oh crap. I thought this was KC. When we were loading in the match, it literally said KC. Oh, what the fu- Why does everything in this game, like, stun you? Like, your movement? I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Two teammates just died right here. Oh, they're on the head glitch? Someone's on a head glitch, so we'll just throw up this- Okay. Oh, Mosquito? Let's back up real quick, just in case. Okay, Mosquito's gone. It's TDM, so the spawns are gonna be probably very just sporadic. I think that guy's still sitting on the head glitch, which is ridiculous. Like, how do you not move? How, like, how, how do you not move from that one spot? I don't get it. Hmm, I think they're still back, right? Wait. Wait, mm, they're still in there. They're, st they're still spawning in the same location. I thought the spawns would be a little bit more like sporadic. Yeah, that guy was still there. Wow. Got the advance. Okay. Oh, uh, TDM is just never my cup of tea, ever. How many shots do I need to put in that guy? Jeez, man. This guy's pushing up. Okay. All right, I mean, hey, our Overwatch Hilo is going to work right now. I'm not going to lie. So let's just keep this going, I guess. Send this head glitch. I might be dead. I don't know where I'm getting stunned from. Oh, I don't want to get hit by that. Don't want to get hit by that. Okay. Just trying to take advantage of this, like, advance as much as I can without losing it. There's two guys on me. Might be dead, I don't know. I'm just gonna pull out my pistol. All right, let's reload this. He's coming through. I just need to reload. Dude, why do I keep getting stunned? I don't know who keeps stunning. What? Let's reload this real quick. Dude, guys, I, I'm, I'm trying my hardest right now. Might be dead. Got to skirt away. Mm. We need like a UAV. We need something. We really need something right now. I'm two kills away. I don't like how my teammates are all just cramped up right here. I don't like it. Oh, man, this is so annoying. A lot of them are just sitting on head glitches. I saw a mosquito. That's not good. It's going to go right here. If my teammates don't move, we're so screwed. I'm one kill away. They just keep throwing stuff in this corner. That's what I'm really worried about. Got it. Oh, my God, dude. I, I, I literally, I couldn't move. I literally could not move that game. Oh, my God. My teammates were just, like, cornering me. These guys just like were not moving. They were throwing mosquitoes and stuns and oh god. Oh my hello? Oh, throwing knife. Let me know in the comments if you guys are excited for season three. I'm really excited for rebirth, excited for the new maps in multiplayer, and also the new weapons as well. It's looking like it's gonna be a fantastic season, and I genuinely cannot wait. Of course, we're gonna be getting a lot of weapon tuning, so buffs and nerfs for certain weapons in this game. So of course, I'm gonna be making videos and showing you guys the best class setups for season three when we get that info. I think I'm overall really excited to snipe again with the Moors. The Moors sniper, oh, it's gonna be so much fun. And I genuinely cannot wait. Stop it. 
Oh, with the quad feed. Oh, game's about to end. Oh, game's about to end. Um, wait, what? No, no, no. Call the MGB. Oh my God, that was really close. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the MGB, the nuke. Let's go, baby. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys with season three.